Welcome to Mad Dog Books. I'm Mike. Today we're going to talk about The One Thing by Gary Keller. Before I begin, remember these are only my notes and interpretations on the book. Go ahead, pick the book up for yourself. Let me know what you think. It's not that we have too little time to do the things we need to. It's that we feel the need to do too many things in the time we have. Gary Keller. The reason I pulled this quote from the book is because it is the essential theme of the book. Whatever is important to you, you have to make time for it. There's always time for you to do the most important thing for you to do. So, let's get into it. Ask yourself the question. What's the question? The question's the one thing. What's the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything becomes easier or unnecessary? That question can be applied to every aspect of your life, every goal you have, every dream you could possibly imagine. So, you do that by thinking big and then acting small. You think big by thinking small and then working yourself up to thinking big. Let's run through the process of thinking small to thinking big. It starts with thinking of a goal that's both small and specific. We'll say that for this example that I want to run 5% faster in the mile. So my goal would be something like, or my question would be something like, what's the one thing I can do to run 5% faster on the mile time in the next year? Something along those lines. From there, you move on to something that's small and broad. So, how can I run faster? Very easy, very basic question to ask. From there, you graduate on to big and broad. So, how can I run 50% faster? It's like sprinting the entire mile. But, it's the question, how can you do it? Finally, you finish with big and specific. What's the one thing I can do to run 50% faster in the next six months? Once you have that question answered, you can go ahead and do that one thing every day, and that's what you have to do. That's all you gotta do. That's the one most important thing to you to reach that goal. So, you look at something like the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. 80% of your results result in 20% of your effort. Leading into acting small, what's the one thing you gotta do? What's that 20% that's gonna reach 80% of your results? Set key point is priority and productivity. Now that you have the one thing, you have to hold yourself accountable to it. That one thing is your priority. Keller goes on a little bit of a rant in the book. He says that there's no such thing as priorities. There can be no more than one most important thing. We're trying to trick ourselves and we're just getting in our own way when we make everything a priority. It can't be. There's only one priority. There's only one most important thing. So, everything else is either a distraction or just not as important as that one thing. Get that one thing done. That's your priority. Protect that one thing. Protect the time you have set for it so you can become more productive. If that one thing is making you more productive, you have to do it. So, the exa one of the examples talked about in the book is remove yourself from all physical distractions. We're very weak creatures. We're very easy to distract. We're not nearly as smart and as focused as we like to think we are. One of the things Keller talks about is remove your phone from you when you're doing the one most important thing. It's very easy to distract yourself when you look at Instagram, you're looking at texts, you're looking at Snapchat, whatever it is. Very easy to get yourself off topic of your one thing and lose focus. Put it on silent. Set an alarm for like an hour, whatever amount of time you have allotted for that one thing. Throw it across the room and focus on only that one thing. Do the one thing you need to do. Focus completely on that one thing and your productivity is going to skyrocket. Third and final key point, schedule. Scheduling is a huge habit to have. Scheduling controls your time, scheduling manages your time. Scheduling is what helps you realize what's more important than something else. It's making time. So, when's vacation? If you really want to be true to yourself, schedule your breaks first. First thing you should do every year is know when you're going on vacation. That way you're going to be working around your break time rather than your breaks coming in between your work. Last bullet, freedom. That's what we're all going for. If you can control your time by focusing on one thing that's most productive, not only will your productivity increase, but you feel better emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. Everything just seems to feel better. You're free 
when you can manage your time and manage your priority. So that wraps up this video on The One Thing by Gary Keller. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you didn't, get the book for yourself. You definitely will. Or check out the rest of my notes in the link below. That's all I've got. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys next time.